Um, oh, and I actually did not leave a note for this, but I didn't feature this either, but I'll talk about it. Even though I, I really hate talking about Vito. Vito is someone who just enjoys attention. He enjoys negative attention, so giving Vito attention is like... You know what's funny is that if I talk about Vito, even in passing on my podcast, he will show up on both the archive of my video and the archive um, from, like, the Maddie archive and comment and defend himself or say... Not even, like, to defend himself, but just to say, like, something smarmy, like a... a one word reply. So I don't know if he like reads or watches my streams and then replies to him or if people direct his attention to it. But if he's aware that he is the talked about anywhere, he will directly insert himself. He'll reply to anyone on Twitter. He'll reply to any video that mentions him like the second that he finds out about it. It's, it's just it's like a it's like punishing. It's like punishing to even want to talk about Vito. But I think that's by design. So I'm just gonna make fun of him for a little bit. Uh, someone makes a tweet saying, what does non-offending mean? Never t uh, in reply to, I think, Vito saying that non-offending pedophiles need to be understood or some shit. But he asks, what does non-offending mean? Never touched a kid, never looked at CP. If you're into kids, there's only one solution. To which Vito replies, non-offending means that we understand breaking the existing laws is a no-no. And to which... El Polio Loco shits and giggles replies, question mark, we, to which Vito replies, we. So non-offending pedophile means that we understand breaking the existing laws is a no-no. And he, he verifies that. Like, he did not mix up words. So he identifies himself as a non-offending pedophile. And it's like, okay, it's like a linguistic thing. And if anyone, pre like, if people pressed him on it and he says, I'm not a pedophile later on, but... He knows what he's doing. That's not a mistake. That's not like an innocent slip up. He is making sure he's playing that game. And I learned from my various experience on the internet and from dealing with pedophiles from like 8chan and shit that pedophiles really love negative attention. They like making people angry. They like, like if they can get away with it, if they're anonymous, they like announcing that they're a pedophile and watching people be unable to do anything about their anger towards them that that's a legitimate like arousal for them is pissing people off by being like abhorrent to human nature and i i don't think normal people do things like this i really don't which is why i say at this point i'm totally convinced that veto, veto is a pedophile because nor a normal people does not play with that kind of fire you can never walk it back um so the the reward of saying things like this has to be worth the risk of um, the natural consequences of it. And to, there's only one per group of people where that that applies, where that's true. Um, and what's really frustrating is, on top of this, is this week, the last two weeks, I've noticed a ton of people promoting that Mr. Girl guy who made weird videos about, like, beating up his girlfriend, and he, like, the most Jewish man to ever live, talking about how he's okay, uh, about how he is a pedophile, like, just open, openly talking about how he wants to fuck the girls from Cuties. And he gets on the dick show, Destiny invites him on to do a debate. Uh, Ralph is having him on tonight, I want to say. I'm pretty sure Mr. Grill was on either on his show this week or is supposed to come on tonight. And it's like, so why are all these people promoting him like all of a sudden? What is with this? It's the nastiest kind of like incest possible, and it, it revolts me. Um, but interestingly, after this, Keemstar calls him out on this oh here here was dick's defense of this by the way uh he has mastered getting attention in this sphere like yeah bro if you start saying that you're a pedophile people are going to pay attention to you because they're going to want to to see you be set on fire like that's 
that's what that's why people pay attention to it. I don't know. Is that like comedy? Is that funny to you? Is that it's just not a good idea if you or care about your long term prospects at all. But I guess he thinks that he's uh, uncancelable or whatever the fuck. Um, but this comes out. Keemstar calls him out on it, and then he changed his name to Keem, professional kid toucher. So Keemstar says, uh, screenshotting his the the messages I just read to you, and says, "Non offending, no such thing. If you are attracted to kids, you are an enemy to society as a whole. If you are de- if you defend these people in any way, you are also an enemy to society as a whole." To which. Um, uh, he responds very intelligently by renaming himself as Keem, professional kid toucher. And he posts this of Keemstar, I guess with a like a young woman, I don't know, or a young girl. I don't know who the fuck this is. But, he's, but Vito says, Keem trying to cover his lust for underage girls. To which Keem replies, you know my lawyer, uh, LFM Talent. Personally, this is the second time you fucking publicly lied. I'll just fucking sue. I don't care. To which Vito says, go for it, retard. And he says, fine, I can see you try to defend these lies in court. To which Vito immediately deletes everything, runs his photo through like a facial feminization filter, renames himself Pretty Vito, and then says, guys, my account got hacked. Did the hacker say anything weird? And then renames himself Vito Protector of Children. And it's just like cringe. I'm like, I wish, I wish people would stop giving these people fucking attention. I wish he would just get banned from YouTube. I wish Dick would disassociate with him, but it's never going to happen. I really, I really, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad for these people. I just wish they would stop. Like they found this vector for getting attention and there's nothing you can do about it. And they love it. Um, and he says, the thing I'm hated for is having too much empathy and wanting to help mentally ill people be able to take better care of themselves and find help. I am Tui, a monster. I tear my heart open. I sew myself shut. My weakness is that I can't do much. And my scars remind me that the past is real. I tear my heart open. Just to uh, oh well, I guess that's worth the copyright strike for that, right? <laughs> oh, I read through all this. Okay, that's the video update. May he may he accidentally find himself set on fire. That'd be the best case scenario at this point. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.